So what link could an insect and a seed possibly have? Right, insects help with pollination and seeds rely on insects for dispersal. But what if they had a hidden similarity much more surprising? That's where convergent evolution comes in. It's when two completely unrelated organisms, like a plant and an insect, face the same challenge and come up with the same solution. It's nature's version of having a deja vu. Try guessing what it is in the comments, and as always, there's a hilarious meme waiting for you at the end. So one area where we humans still have a lot to learn is making better adhesives. I mean, I'm a big fan of duct tape, but nature just puts it to shame. Over centuries, plants and insects have evolved sticky seeds and eggs to enhance their chances of survival. What's crazy is that their mechanism is quite similar. This weird coincidence piqued the interest of two scientists who shared their findings in a paper titled Convergent Evolution of Adhesive Properties in Leaf Insect Eggs and Plant Seeds. Spoiler alert, by the end of the video, you might be shaming duct tape too. They studied two unrelated organisms, the eggs of the Philium philippinicum leaf and the seeds of the Cassinia grandis ivy gourd. Both are experts at sticking to surfaces, but the exciting part is in the how they do it. They used a scanning electron microscope, which is like a very powerful magnifying glass to look into the structures that makes them sticky. They then tested how well they stick to surfaces with varying roughness and chemistry. From these experiments, they uncovered something extraordinary. Despite the two candidates having no immediate connection, they found something incredible. The seeds of the Coxinia grandis could produce an impressive 1,651.78 mn of adhesive force on smooth, hydrophilic surfaces. An example of this could be like holding the weight of a small apple with just a seed. Pretty strong, if you ask me. However, the eggs from the Philium philippinicum weren't as strong, but they stayed consistent. Whether the surface was smooth glass or rough bark, the performance did not vary. But the real breakthrough was that both systems need water to activate their powers. They also noticed both organisms had fibrillary adhesive structures, which are like tiny hairs on their surfaces, helping them to grip. Now here's my opinion. I think this is a really good paper uncovering similarities between two organisms that are very different, but yet arrive at the same conclusion. What would be exciting would be to use this type of glue for rock climbing. Imagine using nature's own glue to help you climb steep hills easily. And now, the meme of the week. See you next Wednesday and check out this video on how we can use snakes and ants to improve cutting.